Do you ever have to sneeze and it hurts so bad? Good morning, Birch family. It is day seven of quarantine. And I'm gonna do my makeup for you guys today. I basically do the same makeup routine 80% of the time. I have already washed my face and put my moisturizer on, so I'm ready to go. I'm gonna start with the Smashbox Primerizer. It is a primer and a moisturizer. I have super dry skin, like disgusting alligator dry skin. And this moisturizes my face even more. If you have dry skin, then you'll understand. But that feeling when you put moisture on your face after your face feels like this is the best feeling ever. It does leave my face a little sticky, but that's good. So my makeup will stick to my face and it won't go anywhere. I'm going to use my Found Sealer from Tarte. My foundation is the stupidest name in the entire world. Found Sealer. Who thought that was a good idea? I would say this is like a medium or light coverage foundation. I am not a heavy coverage makeup-y person. I've been using this foundation for probably six months, if not over six months now. First, because it has a pump and it has more of like a dewy finish and it does not cling to my alligator skin dry patches, which is the main reason why I really love it. I just use like one pump for my entire face. I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna like this. I'm just gonna take my brush and smash that into my skin. This is from It Cosmetics. It is the number 77 brush. I'll make sure to link all of these things in the description box if you're interested in them. When I moved from Virginia, I only wanted to bring my absolute favorite Holy Grail products. And so this is them. I used to never use a foundation brush, but I'm obsessed with this one because it does not leave those like streaks on my face from the bristles. I absolutely love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I left it in Virginia and I brought this one, which is the Morphe Concealer. So, how are you guys doing? What are y'all doing to stay entertained during our quarantine? Animal Crossing comes out tomorrow and I am so excited. If y'all are going to play Animal Crossing, y'all need to go add me on Instagram, like right now, because once I get Animal Crossing, I'm gonna share my friend code and I, I need y'all's friend codes. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. Hello, hold on one second. What is this? Oh, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I have pet insurance through Nationwide for my dog Rustin and my cat Kovu. And I just ordered my cat's Revolution Plus, which is the new, new Revolution. It does intestinal parasites, ear mites, fleas, and ticks, and heartworms. So it does all the things. So I ordered my cat's Revolution Plus off Chewy because none of my local vets carried the Plus that does ticks, and that's what I want. I sent in a claim and the receipt to uh, my pet insurance nationwide and they just covered all of it except for like five dollars. Let's see. Actually I'll tell you how much it was. I know it was like a hundred something dollars. Okay so I ordered the Revolution Plus six months worth for the cat and it was a hundred and sixteen dollars and nationwide just reimbursed me a hundred and four dollars. That's so awesome. So you can still see my dark circle, but that's okay. I like my makeup to look realistic and realistically I have dark circles. Anyway, back to my pet insurance spiel. I am a huge believer in pet insurance, especially when you sign them up at a young age because it's cheaper. I signed Rustin up for his insurance when he when I just got him, I think he was like eight weeks old, and I pay $45 a month, and it covers absolutely everything except boarding, grooming, I think that's it. I'm gonna take my hourglass powder, I'm gonna dip my little sponge in there, I'm gonna just put it right here. Oops, that was kind of a lot. And I'm gonna just press it in 
to my skin. I always get under eye creases no matter what concealer I wear. So I set under my eyes with a powder so I don't get under eye crunchies, you know? I'm gonna take this huge powder brush also from IT Cosmetics and just dunk it. Oh, I like it. I'm gonna add bronzer to my face so my face isn't so like one dimensional. The Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula is my favorite, but I also really love this Bare Minerals bronzer too. Hmm. I'm gonna use this one because I always use my Butter Bronzer. I'll wait. I'm gonna use the Toasted Cinnamon Blush from Burt's Bees. They make three or four colors and I own all of them, but this is probably my favorite one. How are you guys doing? Like what's going on in your area? I wanna know what everyone is watching on TV during this quarantine. I'm currently watching Mindhunter which is really good. What else am I watching? Westworld, they came out with season three. So I'm watching Westworld. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier, Mercier? Mm -hmm. a highlighter. This is in the color 01. It's a very, very natural highlight and I love it. I just watched Frozen 2 on Disney Plus and I really liked it. It was really good. I'm just gonna take that bronzer I used on my face and just put a little bit of that on my eyeballs. My mom is not really a Star Wars fan, but she watched The Mandalorian and really liked it. I'm gonna take that same bronzer and just put it underneath my eyes. I think the worst part about being stuck inside is it is so beautiful outside. Like it feels amazing. It's not hot. It's not cold. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. I just want to go take my dog to the park, but no. I'm going to fill my eyebrows in just a little bit. I don't know how this is going to go. I really suck at doing this on camera, so let's see how this goes. This is the Anastasia clear brow gel. I have really curly hair and long eyebrows and so they like curl and do their own thing and just like they're all over the place. And this is basically glue in a jar and it glues my eyebrows down so they don't move. This is Fourth Ray Beauty the Glisten Up Mist. It leaves such a beautiful glowy finish on my skin so if you have oily skin you will hate this. The only thing I don't like about it is the spray is a little intense. When I get too aggressive with the spray, I'll just take my powder brush and powder right here so it's not as dewy and I don't look sweaty. My all-time favorite mascara is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. It is the best mascara in the entire world, but I'm gonna use my mom's mascara because I really like it. And I'm pretty sure this is brown. I do think I like this mascara. Good job, mom. I think it's so pretty when people mascara on their bottom lashes, but I don't know, I think it looks weird on me. I'm gonna do it, and then I need y'all to tell me yay or nay. Okay, what do y'all think? Yes, mascara on the bottom, or no? Can I pull it off? Does it look weird? Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. It's the Fenty Beauty Lip Glosses. This is in Fenty Glow. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay positive, stay safe, and stay weird. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.